The route to rum is a single-handed transatlantic sailing race which takes place every four years from Saint-Malo, France, to Guadalupe, and covers a distance of just over 3,500 nautical miles, or 6,500 kilometers. The current record is 7 days, 14 hours, and 22 minutes, held by Francis Joyon on his 100-foot trimaran, Idex Sport. Francis is racing again this year to defend his title, but there are a couple of newer, full-foiling frontrunners who are currently in the lead. Gitana, skippered by Charles Cordelier, and SVR Lazatig, skippered by François Gabat. François Gabat currently holds the solo around-the-world record of 42 days, 16 hours, and 41 minutes, which is less than two days slower than the overall around-the-world record set by Francis Joyon on IDEX Sport. The key to Gitana and SVR Lazatique's blistering speed is their ability to fly above the water on foils, which reduces drag from the waves and water and allows them to sail 10 to 20% faster in moderate wind conditions. But how exactly do these 100-foot monsters fly above the water for extended periods of time? These boats have numerous foils and appendages that stick down into the water, two on each hull to be precise. Lifting C or L-shaped foils and T-foil rudders have been seen on multi-hull floats for several years now, as we first saw in the 34th America's Cup, and on Francis Joyon's IDEX Sport from the last route to rum, but these generally aren't sufficient for full foiling in open ocean conditions. To stay balanced, the foils have to provide the exact amount of lift required to counter the healing forces of the wind. To add ocean-going stability, several of the Ultime trimarans have added a ray foil on the central hull dagger board. The ray foil has an adjustable trailing edge, which can alter the lift produced to match the conditions and keep the boat balanced. In moderate winds, it provides a substantial amount of lift, and as the wind increases, the ray foil lift is reduced as a higher percentage of the boat's weight is carried by the float foils. The ray foil lift can even be made negative to hold the center hull down in very windy conditions. Even though the ray foil is adjustable, it is more like a trim setting and set for the average conditions at the time. The boat is then kept balanced in gusts and lulls by steering up or down relative to a beam reach. These full foiling monsters have the greatest advantage in moderate wind conditions, where a non-foiling boat would be sailing at, say, 22 knots, and they are sailing at 28 knots. As the wind and boat speed increases, the advantages of a full foiling boat diminish as the boats approach the cavitation speed limit of the foils at around 50 knots, where the water literally boils around the foils, resulting in reduced lift, high drag, and even damage to the foils. To see how a foiling boat can exceed this cavitation speed limit, check out this video on how Vesta's sail rocket smashed the sailing world speed record. Also, remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel.